Greetings, everybody. My name is Tech G, and I want to welcome you all to my Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamentals course. And the information that I will be presenting in this course is going to give you everything you need to know to successfully pass the Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamentals exam, assuming you study properly. Now, according to Microsoft, this exam is designed for candidates looking to demonstrate foundational level knowledge of cloud-based solutions to facilitate productivity and collaboration on-site, at home, or a combination of both. Candidates, they may have knowledge of cloud-based solutions, or they may be new to Microsoft 365. Also, candidates, they can use this exam to prepare for other Microsoft certifications, but it is not a prerequisite for any other related certifications. Also, candidates, should be able to recommend Microsoft 365 solutions that address common organizational IT challenges. They should understand how Microsoft 365 solutions improve productivity, facilitate collaboration, and optimize communications. And they should also understand how Microsoft 365 solutions help secure data and identity and facilitate compliance. Also, candidates should be able to recommend solutions for endpoint and application management, desktop virtualization, automated operating system deployment, and reporting and analytics. And they should be familiar with Microsoft 365 licensing, deployment, and migration assistance, and support options for organizations looking to maximize their investment in the cloud. So let's talk about some of the skills that you're going to learn. So the Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamental Exam is broken up into four subject areas. The first area, you're going to be talking about cloud concepts, and that's going to make up about 5 to 10% of the exam. You're going to be expected to understand the benefits of cloud computing as far as scalability, reliability, and cost effectiveness are concerned. You're going to be expected to differentiate between cloud service apps like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Service, and you're going to learn about key cloud deployment models such as public, private, and hybrid clouds. The second section, you're going to be talking about Microsoft 365 apps and services. This is going to make up about 45 to 50 percent of the exam, and you're expected to gain proficiency in Microsoft 365 tools such as Word, Excel, Teams, and SharePoint. You're also expected to have an understanding of collaboration and productivity features like OneDrive integration and shared workspaces, and you're going to dive into app management and service configurations. The next section, you're going to be talking about security, compliance, privacy, and trust in Microsoft 365, and that's going to make up about 25 to 30 percent of the exam. And you're going to learn about Microsoft security features, including multi-factor authentication and threat protection. You're going to explore compliance offerings like GDPR alignment and regulatory certifications. And you're going to grasp the principles of data privacy and trust in the Microsoft ecosystem. And then the final section, you're going to be learning about Microsoft. Microsoft 365 pricing, licensing, and support. And that's going to make up about 10 to 15% of the exam. And you're going to be expected to understand licensing models such as per user subscriptions and enterprise agreements. You're also going to be expected to familiarize yourself with pricing tiers and value added features. And you're going to learn about Microsoft support plans and troubleshooting tools. And here are the exam details for the Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamentals. The exam is going to be 45 minutes long. The exam will be proctored. It is not open book. You may have interactive components to complete as part of the exam. If you fail the exam, they will allow for you to retake it 24 hours after your first attempt. Any other subsequent retakes after that, the amount of time may vary in between retakes. The languages that the exam is available in are English, Japanese, Spanish, German, Chinese, French, Korean, Portuguese, Arabic, Russian, and Italian. Now, the cost of the exam is $99. And if you want more information about the exam, I will post a link in the description to the Microsoft Learn website where these exam details are located. Now, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into the course for the Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamentals Examination.